Hey guys, it's Nicole. Just doing a quick intro here. I am gonna kind of talk my way through today's Workspace Wednesday. Gonna be a little bit different only because not only do I need to clean, I actually haven't been up here since I finished my last like design team layout and did the video and posted everything. I kind of just like took a break. I did a bunch of stuff sort of all at once and I needed a break. But the scrap room crop is this weekend and I actually need to not only pack, but figure out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do things a little bit differently than what I would normally approach a crop with. So, anywho, I desperately need to clean, but I also desperately need to find things at the same time. So, probably not gonna be another Workspace Wednesday that's as satisfying as sort of seeing the mess, watching the mess get cleaned up, and then the end result. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen today, so just preferencing with that. So I'm gonna get some music on, crack open a can of caffeine, do a moody 2D check, and get going. Okay guys, this is gonna be a quick down and dirty kind of clean with me video. I have a whole bunch of footage that originally I was gonna, what happened was I ended up cleaning my room before the crop, partially, packed for the crop, and then I came back and finished clean my, cleaning my room before I unpacked from the crop. And we're going to ignore all the stuff on the landings. Like when I clean my office, when my kids clean their rooms, we sort of stick everything on the landing. And then next person that goes downstairs grabs everything. Here I am just kind of showing you my starting point. Now, pretty much my game plan these two days, I think this was two days, was just get some stuff put away and start packing for the crop and figuring out what I was going to bring. Um, I mentioned in the intro that this was gonna be a little bit different for me. Any other time I've gone to a crop, I've brought scrapbook generation page kits and just made sure I edited my photos and typed up my journaling beforehand and then just kind of followed along the directions in the kits. Um, I've kind of gotten out of that. I have some kits that I've kept. I've purged most of them. Um, so I was kind of struggling about, you know, what was I going to end up working on? I actually picked up my scrap room kits for March, which I showed you guys and it's in that bag. So I decided that I was going to prop as much as I could for design team requirements. And I ended up getting most, I would say 90% of five layouts done and then I started the sixth one while I was there and then what I did was I came home and finished them. So the process videos for those are all going to be that weird side angle from the crop and then when I get home I'll do the kind of eye in the sky where you can kind of see the finishing touches, journaling, things like that. Um, previous clip on the other side of my desk basically I just cleaned it off and that was sort of my landing zone for what I thought I was going to take with me to the crop so that I could see it I could see how much I had and then figure out how I was going to pack it up I don't really like to leave my house to craft um I don't like to craft all day either but for Rochelle I show up to her crops because I love them so once a year is not a big deal for me, but once a year is also just not enough for me to invest in like a cart type bag thing. So I just use various like smaller bags and I even used like, I have a big like 31 tote bag that I use for like groceries and stuff. I just pack stuff in that and then I make multiple trips to my car and it's fine. Um, the other thing I did tidy up my main like work area. I already stole my mat in that is in my packing pile. And I made sure to kind of go through everything that was on the floors and just get it picked up, figure out what it was. I didn't do like detail cleaning. It was a lot of find a bin that it kind of goes in and I'll deal with the bin later when I'm in a mood to do more detail focused organizing and cleaning that kind of thing. Last thing I did was the very satisfying vacuuming of the floors. I know for some reason a lot of you guys really enjoy this. I think it's just sort of the period at the end of the sentence. It's the salt and pepper on the meal. It's like the sign that you have accomplished something and you found the floor. So here I'm just showing you guys that I did kind of have the satisfying end result. Um, 
Fun fact, it's already a mess because I am in the process of other things, but I'm going to leave you guys here and I'll have kind of like a part two at some point of unpacking from the crop and kind of cleaning up some other things. So until then, I'll catch you guys next time and thanks for spending a couple minutes with me today.